Let me pray for you. Let me pray for you. Against the spirit of the family. Huh? Yeah. I want to break the spirit today. That's true. Are you hearing me? Yeah. I saw way back your family they were doing funny things. Yeah. And it's now true. here you you want to serve God. Yes, it's true. Huh? Yes. And this cost your family now, these people to have different to have children. Yes. With different mothers. Mothers, yes. Huh? True. Yeah. Is it making sense to you? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm see, I'm seeing true. your family. I'm seeing them having children with different fathers. Yes. It's huh? true. Yes. And now this spirit yes, it is like it doesn't come from here. It's true. Way back. Yeah, from a and family now, background. Huh? Huh? From a family background. So now I want to pray for you to break the spirit. Okay. And another thing is one of the reasons why this spirit is fighting you is because of your prayer life. Yes. Huh? It's true, yes. So that now very this, true, God. this spirit wants to make sure that it pulls you down. Yes. And I want to tell you that whatever that you came here for, God has done it. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Yes. God has done it, and oh. there's a breakthrough that is coming to you. Amen. I receive this, it. This is going to shame your enemies. Yes, I receive it. Yes. So I'll pray for you, and we'll break the spirit. Okay. Because even you, I saw that this spirit was also following you. Yes. No? Uh huh. It's true. Very true. Well, uh, my name is Emaya Conan from New York. Um, I, the prophet said today um, it was true from uh, Prophet Andres. Yeah, he told me that the family curse, following the whole family. Yeah, and then um, for that reason, um, people having children here and there. So I confirm it to be true because I must say everywhere I go, you know, people t tell me the same thing. Yeah, so. That's one of the reasons why I came here to find solution. And you also told me because I'm prayerful, even though the the, um, the the family curse in the family following me. But because I'm prayerful, that's the reason why you know, like you know, yeah, they not really you know can't do anything to me through the power of God. Yeah. And he spoke about the spirit that wants to pull you down. Yeah, that's the same you know familiar spirit, the spirit from a, a, a mother background. Yeah, trying to pull me down. Yeah, but because of my prayer, through the power of God. So that's the reason why you know, I'm still alive. Yeah. And I believe he spoke to you about the Holy Spirit that you, that is in you, that or that is coming to you. Can you please come for, Were you yearning for the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit, yeah, yeah. You know, something like um, in my prayer room, every time I pray, because I do my main prayer. So every time when I pray, I, 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 most of the time I speak in the praying tongue. The 35 to 40 minutes, and I even told the apostles, you know, and Tine. So I, I can, you know, speak in tongue, and the Holy Spirit will come upon me, you know, and sometimes with the interpretation, you know, and Tine. But not all the time, you know, when the Spirit leads, you know, yeah. So I confirm it to be true, yeah. And by the grace of God, you were able to meet Apostle. Oh, tell us the experience. How you see, you watch him on YouTube, and all this social media. Yeah, that's my first time to really encounter him. Yeah, yeah. Apostle Anima, he's a humble person, you know. Yeah, he sits with you and uh, he tell you your problem, and you get any question you ask him, and you know. yeah, he told me about ministry. Yeah, that uh, I have a calling upon me, and, uh, and he said you're going to, you know, uh, pray for me. And he also told me about my marriage. You know, sit on trying, sit on attacking my marriage, yeah. so that it, so that my focus can, you know, be loose. You know, like uh, that sit on don't doesn't want me to pray. You know, yeah. So he also told me about uh, I'm not feeling well in my body. I said, yeah, it's true. So he prayed for me. And one of the, one of the uh, the thing that was causing that to stop me from praying and then the spiritual wife. Yeah, and then you know the mm -hmm. spiritual wife started, you know, manifesting through my body. Yeah, so but now I'm free. I'm you know I'm very light now, and uh, I can go home and sleep well and, uh, and do what I have to do. 
yeah. and you were able to see the man of God two times before you mm. encountered the prophetic service. What does that bring in your life? Oh, it's been a great you know, joy in my life. Yeah, the first time I met him, he told me that uh, uh, he just briefed me like uh, something that happened in my marriage and the calling upon me. But then he told me that Saturday I'm going to meet you. So finally, I met him today. Yeah. How are you feeling after you've heard the voice of God upon your life? The prophet has spoken thoroughly, straight to the point the man of god has spoken about the things that are truly happening to you how are you feeling about that yeah i feel very great yeah because i was able to to, to see or to meet somebody who who told me everything that happening you know yeah because there's some people told me that i have the calling but then i said no i said well i will go somewhere and make you know and confirm it but today the man of god told me yeah yeah so i feel very very great and when I'm going home, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm going home with grace, you know, and joy. Yeah. And what can you say to other viewers out there, you know? Yeah. Um, what I want to say to the viewer is that, you know, whatsoever problem you are facing, I think, you know, it will be better for you to come here. Don't sit down if you're praying and then nothing happening. You have to come and come for reinforcement. We call it reinforcement. Yeah, in the spiritual warfare, you know, something. So you pray, if nothing happens, you come for reinforcement, come for prayer, you know, deliverance, you know, and anointing. Because by right, every Christian is supposed to pass through deliverance. Because you will never know what happening in your life until you come for deliverance. Yeah, so I encourage them to come here, yeah, for their healing and deliverance. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you too.